Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video. Today I am back on Valheim for yet another progress episode. In today's video, hopefully we can continue with some of my challenges like getting the Saren God Bow as a drop from Talos and hopefully we will be able to succeed in that as well. Now, before we get into today's episode, I just want to announce another bonds giveaway. There will be 20 bonds given away in today's video to two different winners. 10 of these bonds will go to each winner. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications, make sure to like the video and comment your in-game name down below the winners will be picked in just about two days as always they will be announced in my community discord in the server discord and on my pinned comments links of discords are down below in the descriptions so definitely make sure to join those also if you are new to the server and you type colon colon ref just like that and you enter the code noobs you will get yourself an additional free bond now here we go, we just got ourselves another orb of the corrupted enema. Now the reason why you've seen like three of these orbs already um, like in a row is because I keep on dying to stupid mistakes. Anyways, once again, I'm going to continue my streak, hoping to get myself that Saren Gobu. Nice, just got myself 150 million experience in defense while doing uh, Talos. Well then, uh, we just got ourselves a orb of volcanic enema as a drop at kill count 335 as well. And here we go, we just finished our kill 336, which means we now have a total of enrage of 4000, which is the maximum enrage, so that's super awesome. Well, here we go for the, like, fourth time or something, we got ourselves an orb of corrupted enema, kill count 346. Here we go, we just hit a nice milestone of 350 talos, and of course we get ourselves another dormant Zeros god sword. God fucking damn it, I'm so done with this boss! Here we go, we just got ourselves a nice little milestone of killing 300 Calphite Kings in total. Just got myself 50 million experience in wood cutting from a um, experience lamp that I got from my daily spins. Now I also managed to get myself some other drops from the Squeal of Fortune in the past couple of days, which is 200 million cash to start off with, I really enjoyed the 200 mil cash. But on top of that, we also got ourselves the Gift website and the Frosted Ref. Right now they are worth absolutely nothing because of the simple fact that everyone is getting them and buying a bunch of spins uh, but once the spins are done they will be discontinued and hopefully in the future they will be worth quite a lot and i would be able to sell them for the absolute bank oh my god i just oh yes yes i got myself the dormant seren god boo bank all i'm i'm so happy god damn it that is some christmas look as milk said right there god damn i'm so happy now obviously this means that i can now go ahead and craft my saren god bow which is absolutely amazing as you can see right there i'm so happy about that but also that means i completed my challenge for the ascension crossbows that i can now go ahead and claim which is another 1.5 billion cash as you can see my cash tag is overflowing so i can't even put it all in my money pouch now well doing my diagonal task and i just got myself another archer's ring not the best drop but i'll take it unfortunately i still need the berserker ring and the warrior's ring only Oh wow, just got myself 50 million experience in prayer as well while doing my task. I guess that Bone Crusher is paying off. And we just got ourselves a Dragon Hatchet as well. Guess this is a really nice Dagonaut Slayer task. We just hit a milestone of killing 100 Dagonaut Rex, that's not too bad. Alright, here we go, we got our Orlando Smith hat on, we got ourselves 10 Elite and 10 Master Clues, so let's go ahead and get ourselves a die, starting off with the Elite Clues of course, starting off with a really bad clue and I can't actually re-roll it, there we go, that is a 1 million clue, but I don't dare to actually go ahead and re-roll my uh, Master Clues anymore because you guys would just hate on me, re-rolling that into a 3.2 mil clue, that's not too bad, got ourselves a hard casket from this one, which is nice, the Orlando Smith hat doing its work another 3 million clue another 1 mil clue which i'm going to re-roll into a 4 mil clue that is not too bad whatsoever 1 mil clue here 700k clue which is bad so let's re-roll that into another bad clue and unfortunately we didn't get ourselves a single die from the elite clues but we do have our master clues left so let's go ahead and get ourselves something great from these master clues please i would definitely take a blood die or something else that is really sick this one don't really care about it two master clues from that one which is a great reward and um, another bad clue which i'll re-roll into a worse clue four mil and to finish it off yet another four mil which is quite bad at all god damn i wish i got some better loot but 
we still have this one clue that I need to get uh, open, which is this heart reward casket. So let's go ahead and see. And we get ourselves a one mil clue from this one, which I can actually go ahead and reroll. So we get ourselves another bad reward. Now, of course, since I got my Siren Gold Ball, I want to go ahead and max this out as well. For that, I bought myself a Blood Dive for 600 million. So I'm going to use this on my Siren Gold Ball, which is irrevertible. But now we have the Blood Siren Gold Ball, which will go really nicely with my Blood Blood Sirenic set that I'll get eventually. Of course, on top of that, we also got ourselves an augmented and we got ourselves. Wait, you cannot augment this item. Why can I not augment this item? What? We are all good now. We just had to repair the Siren Gold Bow and now we can go ahead and augment this. And of course, we still got ourselves some ape, uh, ancient weapon Gizmo Shell. So I have to look up what the best perks would be to put on my Blood Siren Gold Bow. But I do want to go ahead and max this one out with some really nice perks. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Oh wow, I just hit myself 100 million experience in agility while just AFKing at home um, trying to figure out which components I need and apparently I need to go grind some more Gold Watch Dungeon 2 because I need 2000 Vindy Rep. We just got ourselves an offhand Shadow Glaive as a drop at kill count 190 which is yet another offhand one. I still haven't gotten the main hand but this is like my third offhand that I got. And there we go, we just got ourselves 200 kill count at Grigorovic which is a nice little milestone. Oh here we go, we just got ourselves another offhand shadow glaive at kill count 249 and as you can see from killing 253 Grigor uh, Grigorovic now we have finished off our 2.5k reputation which means that we can finally go ahead and make the perks that we want anyways now of course it's just hoping that we don't get fucked so let's go ahead and create our gizmo and we get ourselves aftershock one and wait only aftershock one didn't we, we didn't even get ourselves what Nice, final kill of my um, Reaper task at the Magister. I get myself another Philesterous E or whatever it's called and we get ourselves 25 scrap, so that is pretty sick. Beautiful, we just got ourselves a main hand Shadow Glaive at kill count 294 of Grigorovic, which is of course a new collection log update as well, so that is absolutely amazing. Here we go, we just heard ourselves a milestone of getting 300 Grigorovic. Oh shit, I was AFK, but I just got myself a giant feather as a drop at kill count 722 at Criaro, which means we have now unlocked the pet as well for Criaro. That is the third Gold Wars dungeon uh, pet that we got, which is super awesome. Of course, we still have to go ahead and collect our pet. So let's inspect this giant feather. And now we have unlocked the Chick Ara pet, which is also a new collection log update. So I'm super happy about that. Oh damn, we just got ourselves Ascension Grips as a drop at kill count 52 of the Scuterius right there. But this is a new collection log slot and with that we actually just completed the Feldip Hills collection log. So that is super sick. On top of that, the Ascension Grips are actually a really good drop because I believe they are like best in slot range or something. So that is super sick. Well done, not the beam that I like to see at Ruined Dragons. But I just got myself a Draconic Visage at the drop at kill count 374. Here we go, we just got ourselves a Statfest scale at kill count 480 at Rune Dragons. Oh, we just got ourselves a Ragefire Gland drop at kill count 509 of the Rune Dragons, which is the last drop that I haven't had yet, so that is a new collection lock slot, which is of course absolutely amazing. So it's time to do something that I should have done a really long time ago and that is make myself a crystal pickaxe. Now the reason why I would need this one is, uh, please check my tools for um, in my inventory to upgrade my pickaxe by the way, is because I can now go ahead and make the best installed pickaxe together with this Mkando pickaxe as well and that is something that I should have done a really long time ago. Now that I have those, let's go ahead and see if I can actually go ahead and smith this into the pickaxe or yes, that's what I thought. I need the blast fusion hammer first and now that we have the hammer we should be able to go ahead and make the pickaxe of earth and song which is of course the best installed pickaxe that we now have and we can add to our tool belt which is absolutely amazing there we go just hit myself 200 million experience in dungeoneering while while doing an elite dungeon tree Anyways, this is going to be where I will be ending off today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already. Also, make sure to enter the giveaway. I'll be catching you guys in my next video. Peace.